What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to all my returning clients. Much love and appreciation as always. If you're new here, my name is Hayes. Veterinarian, sneakerhead, hence the name, the shoe vet. Make sure you guys hit that like button to help me out with the algorithm. We are, hey, we're getting a little bit of traction here, getting a little bit of steam. So, uh, you know, do what you can. Make sure you leave a like, it's free, no hassle. Uh, if you keep coming back, you know, become a client, hit the description button, hit the notification bell. Without the way though, today's Tinker Point, we're going over not one, but two of my most recent Adidas pickups. So they're both of the same silhouette. Uh, the Adidas Superstar, very timeless classic shoe, but both are wildly different comparing their details. So the first one going over is in collaboration with Sean Weatherspoon. You probably know him from his famed collaboration with Nike. He also did one with Atmos, and now he's here with Adidas. The second one is in collaboration with the jewelry brand Swarovski. Swarovski. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm probably gonna butcher that the rest of the video. My apologies, but yeah. So Swarovski, the crystals. So we have the Adidas Superstar Swarovski crystals. The Sean Weatherspoon originally dropped August 29th for retail price of $110. The crystal one, I think, dropped very, very late September for retail price of $150. Right now, the Sean Weatherspoon is of course sold out, but resale is not that bad really at all. I actually caught this on a restock a few weeks later after this initial drop on Foot Patrol, which is crazy because if you know anything about Foot Patrol and their queue, yikes. The Crystals, honestly, was a pretty easy cop. If I'm not mistaken right now, there's probably a still a full-size run on Adidas.com. Uh, regardless, I'm gonna put the link to that in the description box down below if you guys wanna cop after watching this video. But the big question though, and the reason for making this video is, do either of these shoes deserve a place in your rotation? That's what we're gonna find out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into that section so we can get a closer look at these shoes. Okay, so this is the start of the dissection portion of this video. We're gonna start with the Sean Weatherspoon Super Earth. So here we have the box. The box is primarily made out of a kind of a gray tonish color, but the special part about the box that is made out of recycled material, you have the Sean Weatherspoon logo on the top part of it, and then right underneath it, you have the Super Earth logo. You have a lot of, start, a lot of things start going on. So you have all the flowers that are, of course, one of the main draws of the shoes that are sketched on and then towards the left of that if you're looking at the box you do have the adidas logo turn the box over to the other side you agree with your sizing label i got mine in a size 9 but per standard protocol we'll go over sizing and comfort later on in the video on the other side of the box you do have a picture of the earth this earth is also going to reappear on the shoe as well when we flip open the box we're greeted with a couple things so we do have two sets of paper laces the first list the first lace here is in a nice bright pink color and the secondary lace is in a very vibrant gold color the only thing left inside the box is tissue paper that has the adidas logo all over it and that's gonna pretty much do it for the box for the opening presentation. Now let's get into the shoes. Now bringing out the shoes on initial presentation, I mean, there is a lot going on with the shoe. This shoe is definitely gonna be a statement piece, at least in my outfits. Um, you know, everything ranged from all the colors to the flowers. I mean, this shoe is loud. But, um, you know, it's, it's it's still pretty cool in its own unique way. It's also lightweight, thanks to all the materials. So speaking of which, this shoe is primarily recycled. You know, there's, uh, there's synthetic leather, recycled rubber, uh, paper with the laces, things like that. You also have a cork insert. Color-wise, it's obviously multi-chromatic. Base color being white of the shoe, but you have pink, you have blue, you have red, you have black, you have green. You got everything on here. So when we start dissecting the shoe, we're gonna always start out with the tongue. So the tongue is made out of synthetic leather. On the top part of the tongue, you do have like a little little tab on here. So the tongues are asymmetrical, meaning that they're not the same. On the left shoe, the tongue has super earth on it. On the right shoe is different and has the Sean Weatherspoon logo and then underneath it, super earth. Moving on down caudally, more towards our toe box. When we get to the throat or the middle of the tongue, we are graded with we are greeted with that same picture of the earth that was on the side of the shoe box. Chris crossing over the top of the tongue, you do have a pair of paper laces, same paper material that the other two laces that we went over, the pink and the gold one, are made of. We've gone down to our toe box, so our toe box has that classic round ribbed shell pattern that is typical of Adidas Superstars. 
This one though is made out of a recycled rubber material. Moving on back caudally, so we get to the main upper of the shoe. So the upper is made out of a primarily synthetic leather material in a white color. You have a lot of things going on on this upper. So of course the big draw of the shoe are these flowers that are embroidered on. The flowers range from different colors such as yellow to red to blue to green to black. Underlaying those flowers, you also do have the three stripes in a baby blue color on each side. What's interesting about these flowers is that kind of have a 3D effect with the extra threads. So instead of cutting off, instead of cutting those threads off themselves and having extra waste, they just left those threads raw they didn't finish it out so it has a lot of hang time the lace holes are made out of synthetic leather material on the lateral side or outside part of the shoe it's a baby blue color and on the medial or inner part of the shoe it's a pink color moving on back caudally towards the heel so you do have an overlay of synthetic leather material the overlays are asymmetrical meaning again they're different so this time on the left shoe you have the sean Wetherspoon logo and super earth underneath it and on the right shoe, you have the Adidas logo. What's interesting about this overlay is that they didn't, they kind of left it unfinished. Um, there is a flat part of it that they don't necessarily have it connect to the shoe. And it's just kind of, again, saving waste. That's really the whole main theme of the shoe. Now moving on down to our midsole. Our midsole is made out of that same recycled material that our toe box is. Moving on down to our outsole. Our outsole is made out of that same recycled rubber material in that traditional superstar pattern for traction the last interesting part about this shoe is the insoles so the insoles are made out of cork they're asymmetrical on the left one has super on the right one has earth where they come in what they have in common though is towards the heel on both of them though they do have a Sean Weatherspoon logo and that'll do it for the Sean Weatherspoon super earth all right, now this is the second shoe for dissection today. That's right, two shoes, double heather, the Adidas Superstar, Solvarsi Crystal. So we started with the box, it has a really nice white sheen. It's kind of hard to see, I'll try and show it to you, but there's three stripes on there on the top part of the box, but hopefully it'll pick up. On the side of the box, you have the sizing label, sizing tag, whatever, I've got mine to size nine. Per standard protocol, we'll go over sizing and fit later on. There isn't really other too many details, for the box it's a slide open box so we well, slide it open there aren't any other you know accessories in here there aren't any other laces or just tissue paper that has the adidas logo all over it and honestly that's going to pretty much do it for the box so now we're going to bring out the shoes now bringing out the shoes i mean these are gorgeous uh, especially for the price point um, obviously they're kind of elevated from typical superstars because of the crystals uh, but these are nice and clean but still have that wow factor the pop with the crystals uh, it's it's subtle, but it's not really subtle. You know, you may kind of have to get a little closer look if you're looking from afar, but I actually kind of like that duality of it. Subtle, but not so subtle. So the shoe is made out of primarily two different materials. So mostly leather and of course rubber. Color-wise, it's primarily bichromatic, coming in basically with two neutrals, black and white. So easy to match up with. We usually start with our tongue. So our tongue is made out of leather material, but on the top part of it, you do have the Adidas logo with the trefoil. This logo is crystallized, so it is pretty much well, all bedazzled with the Savarti crystals. Going down to the throat of the tongue, you do have like a little lace loop for your laces. Concerning the laces themselves, our laces are flat white made out of cotton. The tips of them are metallic though, so that's a nice little, nice little extra for the shoe. Moving on down towards our toe box, we do have a little lapel, a little metallic lapel, uh, similar to like Air Force Ones. Um, this one has the Adidas logo on it, and the other one, if I'm not mistaken, has Slovarski. When we get down to our actual toe box, our toe box is made out of rubber in a white color, and it has that classic superstar look and shape, that kind of shell shape that's rib. Moving on back caudally towards the back of the shoe, we get to our main portion of the shoe, the upper. So the upper is primarily made out of white color, full grain soft leather. On the lateral aspect of each shoe, towards the caudal aspect of the stripes, you do have Superstar. Of course, the biggie about this shoe are the actual three stripes themselves because these stripes are in a black color, but they're also crystallized or <laughs> they're bedazzled. <laughs> in between each stripe, you do have some perforation holes. Moving on back caudally to the back, 
back of the heel, we have a heel panel here that's in a black color. You do have the Adidas logo with the truffle on top. And once again, this part is actually crystallized or bedazzled with the Savarsi crystals. Moving on down to our midsole, our midsole is made out of a white rubber material, traditional for superstars. Nothing really special here. The stitching is pretty immaculate though. Going down to our outsole, our outsole is made out of rubber and that traditional superstar pattern is present. The insoles are both symmetrical, meaning they're the same. Uh, it is a black ortho-like insert. Do you have this smooth kind of, do you have like this smooth, I'm not really sure what the actual uh, material is, but as far as comfort, I mean, it's eh. It's, it's okay, it's okay. And that's gonna end it not only for this shoe, but the dissection portion of this video in its entirety. And that's gonna end it for today's dissection. Now, when it comes to sizing, I got both of these shoes in the same size, size nine. Uh, Adidas Superstars, to me, fit a little bit on the long side, very similar to Converse. So I went down half a size to the nine and they fit pretty good. I still have just a little bit of extra room in that toe box area. So I can probably squeeze into an eight and a half. I think maybe in my next Superstar, I may try an eight and a half just to kind of try it out and report back to you guys. But a nine will be just fine. So my sizing recommendations would probably be either go true to size or if you have a small than narrow foot like I do, go down half a size and you should be just fine. As far as comfort, comfort isn't anything out the world. You know, both of them have, you know, a basically a rubber midsole and outsole and with the exception of the Sean Weatherspoons and that cork insert. So these are comfortable. I can walk all day in them just fine. Absolutely no problem or anything like that. Uh, but I always compare comfort to things like React and Ultra Boost, things like that. And, Neither one of these shoes really compared to it, but it's still not a bad shoe to walk around in on. Now, most importantly to me with both these shoes is how the style, and we're talking about pants-wise. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I'm just not really a fan of shorts really at all. It's probably because my legs are pretty daggone skinny. But, but as of recording this video though, leg day is actually tomorrow, so we're working on it, okay? Okay, we're working on it. But yeah, I'm not a fan of, but yeah, I'm not a fan of shorts. So when we get to the pants, honestly, in my opinion, <laughs> in my professional opinion, something cropped or tapered would probably be my preferred look. You can wear something that kind of goes over the shoe, but I would probably stay away from wearing something a little bit too baggy or too wide leg. It's just gonna really engulf the shoe and the shoes are a really sleek and narrow shoe. And, it, and this is not gonna look proportionally right. I know some people can, I know some people will probably go ahead and do it and you know, they may be able to pull it off. Okay, fine, that's cool if it floats your boat. You know, do you. Um, you know, these, these are just my personal recommendations. But for me, yeah, something tapered or cropped would look best. Now, just as important is what colors to go with these, you know, color coordination. Uh, with the Slovarski Crystal Superstar, I mean, the base colors are neutral, so they're black and white. Pretty much a free for all at that point. Um, you know, pretty much anything will go with it. Uh, right now, I'm kind of envisioning a black outfit, completely black, which I think will look really, really great. These shoes being a primarily white shoe will add that pop, and then you have the black that will agree with the rest of the outfit. Not only that, you have those crystals on there to kind of set it off as that, you know, that wow factor, kind of peacocking a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, that outfit crazy. So yeah, I paired this up here, as you can see, with the Crop Zesty pants from I Love Ugly. These are like one of my favorite, I think this may be my favorite pair of pants right now. Um, I'm really loving this brand. I may even have to do an I Love Ugly haul. I got about four pair of pants from them in the past couple weeks. So yeah, I think I may have to do an I Love Ugly haul, but um, yeah, I really do like how, well, hey, it's black, so it matches up with the black stripes and the black accents on the rest of the shoe still matches, it's cropped, so it has that break in between the pants and the shoe. It adds more attention, there we go. It gives the shoe a little bit more attention, and when you look at it, you go, oh, those are Adidas Superstars. Look at it a little bit closer, oh, those are kind of sparkly. Look at it a little bit closer than that, oh, they're crystals. This guy's really cool, extra cool points. Now when we get to the Sean Weatherspoons, uh, it, it changes up a little bit. Base shoe, still white, neutral color, cool. But then you have all sorts of other colors on the shoe, ranging from blues to yellows to reds to blacks, things like that. So pants color wise, obviously, you know, you can wear a pair of pants that matches, you know, any of the flowers. So you can wear a black pair of pants, of course, as a neutral. You can wear, um, you know, yellow, blue, whatever. Seen here, I wore a red pair of tapered joggers from Pink Dolphin, I believe. Yeah, Pink Dolphin. And obviously that's gonna match up with the red flowers. So you see how that looks. You can also wear something that's not on the shoe too as well. So my second pair of pants, I'm going to pair up with that. 
uh, will be some of the, I think they're the Ralph pants from I Love Ugly as well. The trick with these is you don't wanna have too many other colors clashing with this shoe. Otherwise, I think it's gonna be looking just a mess. Yeah, just wear something kind of chill, monochromatic ideally, it should be just fine. Now overall final thoughts and opinions, uh, do either of these shoes deserve a position in your rotation? I'll say yes, but that's an asterisk there. You know, if, if I had to pick just one, hey, so which one would you pick? I'd have to go with the Savar. I'd have to go with the Savarskis. Uh, they're subtle, but it's still a flex with those crystals. The Sean Wetherspoons. I mean, I like how they have the whole you know recycle thing, but man, it's it's just loud. It's it's pretty loud. Um, I can't really think of too many crazy out. I mean, there's some good outfits you can put with it, but man, I think the flower thing is just it's just super extra, and it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad shoe. And if you're really going for it, like I said, you know. Resale isn't too, too bad uh, above retail, but hey, it's just not hitting. It's just not really hitting that great. But hey, again, it's not a bad shoe. I can't say that enough. Um, both are great, so I'm glad I got both. But I have to give it to the crystals. Way better. Anyway, so that's gonna bring us to the end of the day's appointment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys come and climb. You do that by hitting the description button down below, as well as the notification bell, so you'll be notified of next appointment. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. The handle's at the shoe vet. That'll be in the description box down below. The only thing next is the on foot portion. So I hope you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of your day, and see you guys next appointment.